Hey guys. So, today I'm going to talk about extremes. So, um, if you watched my last video, then <laughs> you will have heard about the whole argument um, that was going on between me and some of my friends about Wellington. And um, it started out as just like a random argument over which boy was better, David or Ricky. And you know, it was like stupid and pointless, but really funny. And you know, it was all just for fun, you know. And then one of my other friends came on and he started like being a jerk. And so <laughs> we got really mad. And um, I was like, I, I got pretty upset. And so I made the vlog and I was talking about it and just like blowing off steam pretty much. And so, um, <laughs> yeah. And like the argument, like, I, I don't even like know how it went because he deleted like half of his comments, which is annoying. I mean, seriously, if you're going to have this whole huge argument on my Facebook status, at least leave the stuff so I can see it. Like, really? But, yeah, so, um, <laughs> anyways, so, you know, there was this whole big argument, and it was kind of annoying me, and <laughs> so, i just been thinking, like, a lot about that recently, and, like, some other things, because, you know, like, I don't know, I guess, like, again, with, like, the whole um, psychologist thing, you know, it's just, I like knowing, like, why people do things, you know, and, like, especially, like, with my parents and stuff, I mean, like, if you tell me not to do something, you know, I might not be happy with it, but I will accept it if you will tell me why, you know, if you can tell me why you reached a conclusion and why you believe that that's the right thing, then I will respect that, you know, but if you just tell me, no, you can't do that because I said so, well, then I'm going to get pissed because, you know, if you can't give me a good reason for doing something, then that makes me think that you have no reason at all and you're just, like, being mean or something stupid like that, you know? And, like, things like that, you know? And then, like, okay, so, you know, if you if you can't tell me why, I'm not going to respect your decisions. And, you know... Like, but the thing I hate the most, okay, is, like, when, you know, you tell me no or whatever because, and then you give me a reason, okay? And then I come up with a way to get around the reason so that everybody is happy, okay? So I can do what I want and you can still be happy and you, you don't even, like, have to do anything, you know? And what I hate is when they say no just because, you know, you come up with a reason that makes everybody happy, and then, you know, you still won't let me do it. And then you can't give me a reason why. And, oh, I hate that. And, like, I don't know. It's just, like, it seems like, okay, to me, when I come up with a way to make everybody happy and still be able to do what I want, and you won't let me do that, and you can't give me a reason why not, then, you know, that makes me think that you're just not willing to admit that you were wrong, you know? It's like, say, like, it, I think, like, they think it's, like, seeing, saying that, like, I'm, like, challenging their authority or whatever and trying to find a way around it, and that's not it at all, you know? I'm just trying to find a way to make everybody happy and still get what I want, but, you know, like, they don't see it as that, and so they're all like, oh, no, you can't do that, whatever, but, you know, at the same time, I mean, like, you can, like, sometimes, you know, maybe there is a good reason, whatever. But other times, you can tell it's just because, like, you know, they just don't want you to. And, you know, it's like saying that they just don't want to admit that maybe their way wasn't right. And, I don't know, I just, like, hate that, you know? It's like, okay, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes sometimes, you know? We're all gonna make stupid decisions and say stupid things and get ourselves in trouble. But if you'll own up and be like, okay, well, you know, I was wrong this time. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Let's try and fix it. Then, you know, everybody's gonna be happy and people will respect you, you know? And 
you know, maybe you'll have lost a little bit of trust, but you'll have gained their respect as well, and they'll know that next time, you know, they know that they can trust you, that when you make a mistake, you'll own up, and you don't, you won't try and, like, cast the blame on everybody else or something stupid like that, you know? And it's like, people just don't see it like that, you know? They just think, oh, well, you know, I'm wrong. I don't want people to think I was, like, so stupid or something. But no, you know, they're, they're going to respect you for, like, standing up and admitting, you know, well, I made a mistake. And so, I don't know. I guess I just, I don't see why people won't do that, you know? And, I mean, yeah, there are going to be some people out there who are like, oh, you're so stupid, whatever. But, you know, in the long run obvious that it's not gonna matter you know <laughs> people are always gonna hate you there's always gonna be haters out there you know you've just got to deal with the good you know it's like I don't know like with my family um we're all really good storytellers okay so and I swear my family just enjoys terrifying children I'm serious like <laughs> Okay, you know, like, ever since I was little, like, I've been hearing, like, terror stories, like, about the internet and everything, and, like, I, I don't know, it's like, I think they, <laughs> it's like they enjoy just picking out the bad in everything, and, like, I've noticed that, like, so many adults do that, you know, like, they look at the world, and it's like they just see the bad in everything, and, I don't know, like, I just, I hate that, you know? Like, you go around and you look around the world and, I don't know, like, take Twitter, for example. I mean, you know, my parents are, like, always freaking out about how I'm, like, always talking to, like, the Weller fan base and everything on Twitter and everything. And how they're all like, oh, well, you don't know these people. They could be, like, terrorists or something stupid, you know? And, um... I don't know. I mean, like, I get their point. There are creepy people on the internet. I mean, I've met a few, you know? Like, th there are bad people everywhere, you know? But there are good people, too. And, you know, you can't, you can't go around, like, living your life in terror, you know? You have to go out there, and you have to, like, be the example, and you have to be good, and see the good in everybody, because there is always good in somebody, you know, you may not be able to make it come out, but there, it's still there, and so, you know, some, sometimes we just need to let go of our fear, and step out there, and trust that, you know, God will help us, and that, you know, we'll be able to be okay, and just know that, you know, sometimes we're gonna make mistakes, and that we've got to step up there and just admit it and go on with your lives and just, you know, go around trying to see the good in people. Because, you know, if you look at somebody and you automatically treat them as though they are a good person, then they will subconsciously want to be that good person. Like, I've noticed that a lot, you know? Like, when people, you know, you treat me as though I'm, like, terribly stupid or a horrible person. I'm not ever going to be able to succeed or do anything right. Well, then I'm, like, not even going to try. Because even when I do do something right, you treat it as though it's nothing. And so, you know, if, if you treat me as though I've already succeeded, then I'm going to try hard to succeed to please you you know, because I want you to be happy, and I know it's a good thing, but when you treat me as though I can't, then why even try, you know, and, like, you know, I know, like, you know, you, you have to, like, ignore everybody else and do it just for you and everything, but, you know, you still, you, we subconsciously, we want people to like us, you know, we want people to be happy for us, and so, you know, when people don't do that, then it's just, like, <sighs> you know, it, it, it hurts, and so, you know, we, we just need to go out there, and we need to treat people as though they were good, we have to see the good in the world, and just live our lives like that, and yeah, <laughs> those are my thoughts today, peace out world.